So we got the bike in the mail from Dre at uh, ECCW Choppers. You excited? I'm excited, yes. I can't even remember what color it is. I don't know what color it is, so this is going to be like Christmas Day for me. <laughs> what is it? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's blue. Cool. Cool. Is it blue on this side? Dre, I'd like, to, I'd like to know how you... I can't find the seam. I guess it is there. It's just falling apart. I'm trying to keep this packaging as nice as possible because of uh, you may be getting another shipment from me. But here we go. Size two. Gosh. There's a seat frame. Seat covers on back there, so I'm gonna set that to the side. This is gonna be, <laughs> I bet it's gonna be a mother. He built this little wood frame, but I don't wanna break it. We're just getting all these zip ties off, and it is zip tied down pretty well. Pretty well. Pretty sure, Dre, you should have worked it at <laughs> UPS. Come in there. Let's oh, see this. another one. Nope. This is out. Front tire. Dre, your packaging kind of got murdered. There we go. And of course we're going to be painting these bikes so it doesn't matter that there's a, a little bit of rust and, yeah, and flames on it. That's perfectly fine because once we weld to it and everything, you know, of course it's not going to look as pretty. And you got to remember, they don't make these bikes anymore, so yeah. it's kind of hard to find one like you did. You got lucky. Yeah, I, I for sure was lucky with uh, my bike because I mean it was completely brand new 100% I don't really need this but he sent it anyways I'm use it for a weapon in the truck <laughs> so we're going to recover this seat we might even experiment with building a seat I mean it shouldn't be that hard to, uh, to build a seat probably sucks <laughs> yeah you can really tell with uh, no tire on the wheel how how like lightweight this <laughs> is your mate probably shouldn't have felt that <laughs> a little bit scared there's your rear fender oh look at the look at the points i would kind of like to try to use these as the foot pegs though yeah that's what i thought about doing on mine so there's the main frame of his bike we're gonna do everything exactly the same. Uh, of course, I mean, this is gonna be a lot easier having it this symbol because we'll probably go ahead and adapt this off of the, uh, the fork and everything. A lot of different handlebars. Yours are rised up. Mine's pretty much straight. You sure? Yeah. Ooh, it's positive. You didn't have as many a pairs anyways. Yeah. Okay. Another good weapon, though. Yeah. I'll tell you, Dre, you know how to pack stuff, that's for sure. But yeah, this all should be... Good I mean, go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of better that it's disassembled. Because we would have had to, we're going to have to pull the crank out of the frame and everything, but... Yeah, so that's everything unpacked. So, there's this bike. If anybody was wondering where it looks like completely unassembled, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> so, like I said, everything's going to be exactly the same as we did it. We're not going to film it like we did mine because there's no point. It'd just be a repeat. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to try to, maybe if we can think of a different way to film it, then we will. But cutting the frame the same way, adding pretty much the same pieces. I don't really see nothing to do different with the way we did it on mine. But probably going to have him get new bearings for this just because it's a disassembled he might as well and uh, once we get that engine plate welded in the seat pipe cut we got to adapt the seat back like we did mine and then uh, you know pretty much assemble it after all the frames modified but yeah these wheels don't weigh nothing <laughs> they're the tin cans that's for sure I'd say this weighs less than a maybe a pound it's light yeah it don't weigh anything so that really 
really puts it in perspective that uh, we got to get different wheels on these things which I have all my stuff bought. I just need to find some bearings to adapt my new wheels with my new forks. And we'll see which route Lonnie wants to go on this one. You know, it hasn't, we really haven't fully discussed his end game, you know, like I have, you know, I've fully thought about mine, but yeah. Let us know what you think of uh, chopper build number two. Well, actually three, because we are going to continue on the crusty scab. You will see that this week. I do want to somehow figure out, you know, get these off of here and use these foot pedals as my foot pegs yeah get up somewhere but i think that'd look pretty cool i was going to do that originally but i didn't think it'd be far enough out i just need to i haven't sat on my bike you know with it standing up straight and really see where my feet's going to be comfortable i don't want them too far forward you know of course it's a mini bike so you're not going to be like crazy comfortable it's mini for a reason but one guy said you should have stretched it you're too big for that bike <laughs> It's a mini chopper, guy. It's in the name, mini. Of course I'm going to be too big for it. But let me know what you think of the flamer in black. So this is going to be pretty sweet. Hopefully we can get all these worked out in the next few weeks. And going to go power sports will slow us down on this one. But we're going to get the frame all modified. And it's going to be nice. Let us know what you think. It's going to be awesome. In the and then uh, we need to go up to the Dragon. That would be sweet. Once we have our wheels on and brakes and everything will for sure go on some long hog rides and and film everything my brother lives up in the mountain and it's a real awesome road up to his house it's real smooth so we definitely once our wheels are situated and we really test everything you know these frames aren't the thickest of metal so it still kind of worries me about the strength of the frames but with additions it should be fine so we'll see how it goes so guys as always don't forget to go to go power sports and use that discount code redbeards to get all your mini chopper and uh, go-kart needs they have a lot of stuff that that we used on my bike so uh, you can build about anything off of their website and don't forget to go to facebook and instagram give us a like and a follow where you'll see pictures of stuff like this before they come out on the channel and uh, guys thank you for all the support and always come back to redbeards garage we're out <laughs>